thanks for coming out tonight on this beautiful spring evening. Uh, this is the final installment of our spring organization series. We previously have heard about storage solutions, organizing with kids in mind, organizing the entry and exit points of our home, and organizing others. And if you happen to miss those events and you're interested in them, the vi video footage is available on our website. Uh, I'd also like to just briefly mention that programs at Darien Library are made possible by our annual Friends of the Library campaign. So thank you so much for your continued support to make programs like these available to the community. Tonight we are going to hear about how to shop and get organized. Something very near and dear to my heart because I recently moved into a new apartment and it seems like all I've been doing is shopping and spending money. So it'd be great to have experts actually tell me what kind of things you need to buy that are worth it and what things possibly are not worth it. And that is going to be presented tonight by Matt Beyer of Matt Beyer Organizing, Jen Burke of JKB Organizing, Kara Brooke of SOS LLC, and Susan Lavello, CPA CPO of Clutter Solutions. So thank you so much for coming and I will let you guys take it away. Um. Effective organizing uh, systems are always made up of two components. There's uh, an appropriate structure based on the quantities you're keeping, and there's an easy habit. I like to say, when you have a habit that's so easy it feels like cheating, that is a great organizing uh, habit. Um, another way of talking about it is product and process. Well, we're not going to talk about process at all tonight. It's all down to, to product. Um, we're just going to be taking turns uh, and talking about product in no particular uh, order. Not everything's going to be new to you. You're going to, you're going to see a few things and say, oh, I've got that. But um, bear in mind, others might not know it. And also, you might find some additional uses or, or how to make the most out of it. And uh, also important to bear in mind that these are not necessarily the newest products or the most uh, unusual products, they're our favorites. They're what, what we believe in most and we'll explain exactly why. Um, we would ask that you please refrain from asking, where did you get that or how much did that cost? <laughs> We've, on the handouts, there are all the sources of uh, these products and uh, if you have additional questions, you can always email us, we'd be happy to answer. Um, and at the end, for Q&A, we would actually like to get some of your wisdom because we're counting on the fact that you're going to have some great ideas. You're going to see some of these things, oh, I've got even a better idea than that. So we're looking forward to that. I think that bar will be fun. Um, so we've got a lot of ground to cover, a lot of great products to show you. So we're going to try to keep this moving along just a minute per product. So we're just going to take you know, one, one product per, per organizer and then move on to the next. It'll be just like, like popcorn. It'll be a lot of fun. So we're going to start off with uh, Susan and her first product. Okay, good evening everybody. Hello, hello. Okay, I love anything clear. Right? And there's some great clear products. So for paperwork, we have Penaflex folders, right? Clear. Hanging folders, clear. These great big Ziploc bags, right? You put all kinds of great things in here. Even a bigger Ziploc bag. It's a little blue tint, but it's clear. And then this is a new product. This is by it's called Swizzle.com, and it's a little clear box. Right? Find some put in there. And then these came from Bed Bath and Beyond. These are clear and they stack. So clear stacking. What could be better than that? <laughs> Be better than that. Okay. Won't you guess? Fabulous. Um, but not not just for sorting laundry. I mean, there's so many things you can do with a basket. Um, if any of you guys have been into my garage, my whole bat my whole garage is shelves with laundry baskets. So in one, I have some tools, and another I have kids' shoes, and another one I have balls. So you can actually stack laundry baskets in an area like your garage for organization. Also, if you're sorting in a project and you want to sort things, let's say you're sorting and you want to move things to another part of the house, you can put those in one basket, put things that you want to throw away in another basket, and 
support the process of organization through laundry baskets. All right. I'm going to back on what uh, Susan said about uh, clear products. We're all big fan of clear products. I always say reveal, don't conceal. Sounds overly simple, but it makes a lot of sense. There's a time and place for things to be out of sight, out of mind, and uh, other times you've got to see things. And most important are your to-dos, the things you want to make a point of acting on. Uh, I believe the best way to have them, vertical, visible, and minimal. I use this jumbo vertical incline sorted from Rubbermaids. Um, it, the, the benefit of the jumbo size is that files that go here don't flop over. They flop over, you can't see them. It's all about visibility. You can see a lot of different um, ongoing projects all at once, and it uh, collects them all in one place. Okay, more clear stuff. This is like snow. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, wall pockets. These are at the container store, and I. This is my saving grace for the mail. There's two of us in my house. This is where Kara's mail goes, and this is where Alan's mail goes, and they link together. And then you hang them on the wall. So now instead of the mail being on the kitchen table, the kitchen counter, or the coffee table, it's hanging on the wall in my office. And we each know where our mail is. And when you get a chance, you get a chance you know, to go through it. It's not something that's ever in the way. So I love, this is, again, this is clear, but it's also using vertical space. OK, if I could write a song. I would write a song about the Brother Key Touch label maker. <laughs> Does anybody have one of these? I know Baker has one, right? Are these wonderful? Yes. So you just, it has a keyboard on here. You make a little label, and you can use different fonts. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can put them on frames, all kinds of things. So here's a little label I made with my name. You peel off the back so it's easy because it's split in half. And then you stick it wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it right here. And then you take the bottom and you peel that off and voila, you have this nice, neat looking label because the neater things look and the more they're labeled, the easier it is to uh, find that again. And kids love to do this. Your kids will just sit there and do this for hours. Okay, file folders. I'm going to um, take off with something Matt just did here. But if you have stand-up files, you can also use really decorative files which make it really fun, you know, to go into file. If you just have a plain vanilla folder, it's not as exciting to go into. So you can buy these at Container Store, you can buy these staples. They have a million different colors and varieties that you can choose from. But it makes them seem a lot more important and your things more important when they're in files that you love. One of the things I don't like about a lot of organizing projects products is that they are overly complicated and require too much uh, work and things don't actually get used. Uh, such is not the case with the uh, time timer. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, if you have difficulty focusing on getting something done, nothing helps you focus better than setting a timer. This is super simple. Uh, you just pull this tab here, you see that red? You set something for 25 minutes, and it immediately starts going up. And, and when you hear a little ticking and you see the red, it's more compelling, it makes you more aware and it helps you focus better. It comes in three sizes. This is the large one, the double, the medium one, but the, uh, you can take a little uh, portable one with you like this. It's exactly the same way. Super simple. Uh, and Kara also told me recently that Time Timer also comes in uh, an app. Yes. On your iPhone. It's $2.99 for the app. I don't know if you can see this. It's $2.99 for that, but it's basically the same. Thing. That's a time, 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 everywhere. And your phone, um, usually when you leave your phone untouched for a little while, it goes to sleep, it will not happen while this is running. Which is great. Okay, this file tote. There's file, hanging files in here. This is great for the mobile office. This is a product from Office Candy. Um, I actually do sell some Office Candy products. So this is, instead of de dedicating a drawer to what I need for doing that business, I have, this is the stationery, these are flyers, so everything related to this project is in here. So if you have a project that's ongoing, whether you know it's temporary or you're doing something permanent, maybe it's volunteer work you're doing, um, if you have to go places with your files, this is a great, um, a great way to do it, to be mobile. There are other options in Staples, of course. They're not as pretty as this, that's why I chose this is my favorite, but there are other options. 
So if you don't want to spend the money to get a label maker, you can still label because there's all types of wonderful products. This is by uh, Avery. They're just stick on label folder, uh, stick on labels. And you could just take a black Sharpie, write whatever you want on the label, and then you just take that off, right? And you can label everything. So as soon as I get a new, um, any kind of electronic cord thing, the first thing I do is I make a label for it. So I don't have a drawer full of cords that I don't know what they are, right? The cord is labeled. And then it goes into this bag. I label the bag. It has the instructions. This is the cable for my droid, right? So when I want to upload pictures from my phone, I just go to this little baggie, and there's my cord and my instructions and all of that. Um, this is, uh, these are new labels. I just found these today at Staples, so I'm very excited. This is a post-it note label, right? So they're a little bit bigger. <laughs> and this is by Post-it Note. I love these. These are index tab labels. It's just a little tab. It's very strong and sturdy. And if you have like a piece of paper or something in your file and you want to really notice it, you could just put this little tab on the paper and mark it with the black Sharpie and open your file and see, you know, pull out that one sheet of paper very quickly and easily. Okay. Um, label roll. Does anybody know what label roll is? No? Well, it's just another way to label. Um, and it comes in a roll, and you can just take off a piece, make it any size you want, and then you can stick it wherever you want, and it unsticks really easily, and it'll stay on. So you can put it on your kids' stuff, you can put it on, you know, things in the kitchen that you want to label, on books, on whatever. Labels anything, and it comes in all different colors, too. So you can make it as big or as small as you want. Anybody got one of these? This is the uh, neat desk scanner. Um, <clears throat> you know, we hear a lot of these days about should I, you know, does it make sense to, to, to make everything to go paperless? Uh, this, you know, there's a lot of work still involved in going paperless. It's not, not, things don't suddenly become automated. But in terms, for getting things scanned, this is the, the easiest solution I've found. Um, I bought this, back, let me back up a little bit. The Neat Desk offers a one month free trial, and I decided, try the trial, I'm going to return it, but I'll blog about it in the meanwhile. <laughs> um, so I um, set it up, used it, and fell in love. Um, the, the beauty of this is you can, um, it, it's super fast. If you're familiar with the, you know, the traditional flatbed scanner, you can wait. You know, Takes a long time to set up, adjust. This is automatic. You put a, a stack of papers uh, in, it just shoots right through. It's got this little adjustment so the paper doesn't fall on the floor. Yeah, hold this up for everybody to see. It goes like this and collects. If you've got um, receipts, there's a slot for receipts. If you've got business cards, there's a slot for business cards. Um, and what, what the magic really happens when it goes right into your computer and it uh, reads uh, what you've scanned and you don't have to type it in. Huge time saver. My, uh, I made my account's life a whole lot easier by having, being able to do this. It is not cheap. About 400 bucks. I find it worth it. They will also do both sides, right? Um, yeah. I, yeah, I, mean, I think that. you yeah. can just put it in one way and it'll do both sides. I did that for a client. And I think it does photographs too. Oh, okay. Yep, photographs too. Um, all right, so uh, Susan already alluded to this a little bit, but clear plastic bags, like Ziploc bags or Gladlock bags, whatever. And we know that they're good, really good for sorting and storing food. <laughs> but also we can sort things like all the stuff for my iPod, um, stuff for my digital camera, my cell phone, like these are things that I, we are constantly getting questions about, like what do I do with this stuff? And at least if you have cords, you have things that are all different shapes and sizes, you have cords, you have CDs, you can put them all in plastic bags and either put them in a file folder, file box, a bin, but if they're clear, it's really, and obviously you can label them, um, the Ziploc bag thing comes with a label where you can use your label maker to label them. But it's clear, it's easy to find stuff that everything can be contained. No longer do you have to be just married to a file folder and that everything that needs to be that size. 
All right, this is a product, I can't say this is my favorite, but this is a new product. I haven't tried it yet, but um, there was recently a conference out in New Orleans for the National Association of Professional Organizers, and there were 620 organizers in attendance. And there were, I don't know, maybe about 30 or 40 vendors there, and they bring all the new organizing products for the year, and this is one of the new products. This is by Staples, actually. It's called the Better Binder, and what you do is you... You use it just like a regular binder, but then the inside pops out. And now you can take whatever pages you have and you can hang it in a hanging folder so we can go right in your filing cabinet. Ooh. <laughs> like that. Okay. Okay. For all you women in the group, um, this is a jewelry board and it's linen. And um, you can get it at Pottery Barn online. And this happens to be mine. Um, <laughs> and I love it because I'm a visual person. So a lot of the products out there for jewelry are trays and things that you stick in your drawers. Or stackers, you know, that stack on top of each other. Uh, but some of us find that if we don't actually see the jewelry, we won't remember that we have it, and we won't wear it. So this is a way you can just hang it on your wall. It has hooks on the back. You can hang it horizontally or vertically. And then when you're getting dressed in the morning, this can be right near all your clothes in your closet, and you see what you have. It's a jewelry board? Jewelry board. It's a linen jewelry board. Yeah. Mm. All right. I've got something as sophisticated as and expensive as the leaf desk scanner to something as basic and expensive. It's the lawn bag holder. <laughs> I don't know why, but I bring this. I bring this to every every client I work with. See if you have some with it. It's not on your head. Uh, this is um, you used to have it at the container store. Not anymore. It's on your your list. It's on available online. Um, doesn't take up much room. I see, see how it folds away. Um, just simply hang a bag on this, and it is a lot easier. To, fold, to throw things away, you can you know, chuck it into an open bag rather than being on the floor getting into a bag. Uh, I like the big bag because it encourages more tossing and uh, <laughs> most of us tossing more. So, um, like I said, I, I, nobody, I get more, more inquiries about the lawn bag holder than, than anything else. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I didn't put where everything was from. I just put the. Oh. Um, so which one was it? Oh, gosh, it's, it's a new place. I used to think of potential, but I think it's, it's something like outdoor products or something. Uh, so, you, you, you go ahead. That's not what I got. Is that it? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, in the same vein as clear stuff, this is clear gear. And there are three different sizes. These things are so much fun. The small, the medium and the large in the same vein as the plastic bag, but these are going to stand up um, and stay standing for you. Susan was remarking that this reminds her of the things that comforters come in, right? Um, these are really very hardy. You can, let's see, for this, you can do like a toiletry kit, so, you know, a grab and go kind of thing for an overnighter. Um, what else? They have tons of stuff on their website about how to use these. Uh, shoe polish, nail polish, hang on to this. I have my binder clips in here um, that I had out there. If anybody didn't get one, I have more. They, uh, kids' toys, electronics and cables, store your makeup. Um, what else? The larger stuff, you can store DVDs in here. You can use it as a craft bag. They have pictures on their website of people putting yarn in here for knitters. So these are just, they're very sturdy. They come in uh, a three pack together and they come in all sorts of different colors. So Where did you say the, where? Clear Gear is clear the name gear. of the company. Clear, Cleargearbath.com? Yes. Okay, this is not on your handout, but it is one of my favorite organizing products of all time. Do you recognize what this is? Check it's a checkbox. <laughs> it's just the box that your checks come in. Now, I don't have as many now because I write very few checks. I pay almost everything online. So these are quite rare. Bags now. They don't come in plastic. 
come with box? Um, mine come in the box, but you have to put the box together, yeah, so it comes box. in the yeah. envelope yeah. flat, and then you have to assemble the box, which I'm willing to do. <laughs> and um, they also store easier, because now I don't have to store them this way, I could just store them flat. But what I do is I line these up in my desk, and I have one for pens, one for pencils, one for highlighters, one for erasers, and extra lead, and all that kind of thing. Um, in the bathroom, I put, um, I have it in the medicine cabinet, and I take a paper towel and I line the check box and that's where I put my contact lens case and my contact lens solution so it stays really clean and it's easy to change it out. <laughs> we love what we do, can you tell? <laughs> okay, so this is called a super sorter. Um, does anybody have one of these? Okay, you can get it at Container Store, you can get it at Staples, they come in silver, they come in white. And you can use it to sort all these various things that kind of get lost on your countertop. So this is my laptop case. You can put stationary. I have these little bags that I take when I go out. I have stationary in here. You can really put anything in here and it just stays a lot more organized. So I have this sitting right above my computer on a shelf and it just has miscellaneous things. You can just store paper in here too if you want, but it's just a lot more organized than either stacking it or just piling it all together and putting a bookend, right? Super sorter, that's what it's called. I have an answer to the last inquiry about the uh, wand bag holder. Uh, I'm actually more organized than, uh, I realize, I have the answer right in front of me here. Uh, it's the uh, cartsandanchors.com where you can get that. Um, next up is the uh, Rid It from Cocoon. Anybody have one of these? Yep. These are cool. You can do hundreds of different things with these. Um, what they are are this, you know, it's a grid of these little elastic bands that go different directions, and uh, you can use it for many different things. This is my my BNI collecting uh, thing. <laughs> Business networking and international. Several of us are uh, members here. Uh, every week, I have this little collection where I got my, my name tag, uh, business cards because we're networking. Pens, things I always want to be sure I have. It's in one place. You can uh, I see them used a lot for uh, electrical cords. That's if you've got a lot of different cords to keep uh, together in one place. Um, I like the fact that it sort of it sort of organizes everything flat, so you can carry this like with a binder rather comfortably. You can go in a bag. Um, a super super little device. Uh, highly recommend it. The grid it from Cocoon. That's a great the car. Yeah, yeah. Really park with all your little snacks in it. And they have them for visors too. Mm -hmm. Your car visor. Okay, next. Something relatively simple. The hanging file pocket. Not necessary for all types of paper for you to store, but I personally, um, for all of the receipts for my business, I throw them in a file folder, I log them in my QuickBooks, and then I throw them in a file folder. And this is great so that I know they're not going to fall out when I take this out to, you know, compile everything and give it to my account. So this is great for uh, little pieces of paper or even, you know, if you wanted to stick stuff like this in a file drawer, you don't necessarily need to put it in a clear bag, but it will hold things of different sizes, different shapes a little bit better than a regular hanging file or a file folder. I would not recommend necessarily putting file folders in here because they can, it can be kind of tough to get them in and out, but you know, little pieces of paper, loose pieces of paper, um, the smaller things, or things of different sizes, these are great for them, so things won't fall out on the side. This is another new product from Conference, and I, I brought these with my client um, on Monday. She just moved, and she loved this so much that within five minutes she had ordered 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> but this is called What's That Paint? And it's a label that you put on your paint can. And on there you put the area of the room that you're painting, the color, the finish or the base, whether it's semi-gloss or satin, you know, flat, the brand and the store, the date, and any other notes you want to make. And then there's a little spot down here where you can just put a little bit of the paint itself. And you put this right on your paint can. And then you don't have paint cans that are sitting in uh, your basement for years. When she moved out of her house, she was there for 30 years. It probably took us about 10 hours to organize the paint. <laughs> because 
We had to open all the cans. We had to dry it out. We had to separate the things that had to go to hazardous waste. Right? It was this big, big project. If you just have a label on your paint can, right, it makes that whole process very easy. I need to get some of those. <laughs> They're on your handout. They're called What's That Paint? Oh, What's That Paint? So this looks really simple. It's just a file pouch. Um, you can actually uh, put it in a binder because it has three rings. And if any of you have a filing system in a filing cabinet, and kind of spinning off what Carol was saying about collecting little things, if you have a file where you have receipts or you have um, you know, something a little three-dimensional that you want to put in a pouch instead of the folder so it won't get lost, you can just hang this right in your file cabinet. I did not bring all this next uh, product for reasons that will become very obvious. Who has these shelves? I do. Yeah, <laughs> people do, right? Yeah. yeah. These are terrific shelves. I mean, I'll tell you why. Because they can go up in 10 minutes. You don't have to get fancy with storage solutions. It makes just a huge difference when you're doing a basement or garage. Mm -hmm. Just get these up. Stuff that has only two directions to go. Either it goes out or it goes up to make space. Um, so this provides that vertical storage in a snap. Um, and as long as you're not overloading it with like super heavy uh, tools, machinery, it's fine for a lot of stuff. Um, so, you know, it seems like a simple thing, an obvious thing, but it, I've done hundreds, hundreds, lots of garages and basements, and these always work super. Where do you get those? Home Depot. What's it called? You said shelf. It's the plastic ventil ventilated uh, five tier shelf, I think. You'll see them in yeah. Home Depot. You can look up good storage in Home Depot. Probably top of the list. All in one aisle. Yeah, all the metal ones, the plastic ones. We go there and we just can't get ourselves out of that aisle. <laughs> 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 Close it with the door. Get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Swing away vehicle seat organizer. This is this is one that's not on your list. Travel Oasis. That's where I found this. This is a last minute add-on that I have. I have this in my car all the time because I'm in my car constantly. So I have it in the passenger seat and it's facing the uh, facing the windshield. So this is all access accessible to me just by reaching over. If somebody gets in the car and wants to sit in the passenger seat, it just swings around to the back. Okay. And I keep things, I have a notebook in here, I have my Bed Bath & Beyond coupons, <laughs> a, um, a lint roller, because a lot of my cl clients have cats and dogs, CDs, charger, I have the, um, the flashlight, the battery list that flashlight, just in case, extra sunglasses, tissues, I mean, anything that I would like to have that I can just grab while I'm driving instead of having to kind of lean over and try and get something out of the glove box. Yeah, swing away one. Swing away vehicle seat organizer. Traveloasis.com. Okay, I love these temporary 3M hooks. Oh, Do you oh, use yeah. these? Yeah. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I hang these up. <laughs> Aren't these wonderful? They're temporary. You can put them on the wall, you can put them on a door, you can put them in the closet. If you're staying in a place where you're renting and you don't want to, you know, ruin the walls or anything, you can use them that way. I use them at the holiday time to hang up wreaths and things like that, but I don't want that hook there all year long. I also put them in my closet and I can hang up my bathrobe, you know, my nightwear, all that kind of thing. And I have very small ones probably use them all, but they have very small ones, and I have, um, you know, I think the jewelry board is so, is wonderful, but I have a lot of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get two, two boards. Well, I have one, of, I have an actual piece of furniture that holds my jewelry, it's like one of those jewelry chests, and it has the arms that swing out, you know, those little drawers, I mean, they, the sides come out. And they only have like four or five hooks there. So I took these and I put extra ones. And now I have a whole bunch of hooks. And every necklace has its own hook. So I have one side that has like all the gold. And then the other side has all the silver. <laughs> oh, real important though, Susan, you should say, if, if there's two-sided adhesive, 
one for the wall and one for the hook. It's real important. You just <laughs> be, be, be sure you got the red one to the right side, the black one to the right side, or you can What's the name take of a it? piece of wall off. They're called um, by command products by 3M. They're called damage free hanging. That's what they're called. And do they give the weight so it will accommodate? Yes. Like this, this one here, this is called a micro hook. It holds uh, half a pound or 225 grams. I know that. So it tells you on here. They have all different sizes. And they even have them that are kind of decorative looking if you wanted to have them out someplace. And, you know. and who sells these? Oh, you can get these at any hardware store, at Staples, at Target. You know, everybody has these. Okay, backpack folders. Um, I have a lot of clients with kids, and I work with kids a lot, so we use these for them, but you can also use them as an adult. And the cool thing about these is that it holds everything vertically. So instead of the folder being like this, horizontally, you have a tab on the top, okay, so it sits vertically. It also expands on the bottom, so if you have a lot to put in it, it just, you can make it wider. Um, and it also has three tab positions, so if you have multiple folders next to each other, there's three tab positions. These are great for kids. I mean, there's, they say organized so much easier if you can just stick the folder in the backpack with a label right on the top. Okay? They're called backpack folders. My next product is um, <clears throat> partners with this product. <laughs> Also from the Home Depot, actually anywhere, but you can get a Home Depot um, flip top bin, which I'm sure many of you have seen, many of you probably have. Um, what I like about this is I get so many homes where the bins get separated from the lids, and it's amazing how many of them never seem to match up again. Uh, no problem with that here, and the lids attached. And uh, the, the reason I say it's a perfect partner for the um, ventilated shelves is that um, they fit. Get the little front yeah. post. No. Perfect height. Uh, and you can fit two per shelf. So you don't have, you know, you don't say, all right, one, only one fits per shelf. You can sort of, in many cases, double your storage. So you have, it's like a perfect, a perfect storage marriage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This isn't clear, but these are really fun. These are called the Hadaki pouches. These are found at Office Candy. They have a small and a large. And they have many, many colors, and they have many um, uses. Jen uses hers as a kind of, she doesn't like to carry a purse, so she'll throw you know, cell phone and lipstick and whatever else in there, wherever she needs to go. Um, I use mine. This is for my networking group. Everything, uh, notebooks in here. Um, business cards, uh, the marketing material from the other people in my networking group. So everything I need for that group, when it's, when it's time for me to go, I just grab this pouch and go. Um, what else? It's, it's really, it's for containing stuff that's all related to a project, basically. Project. No, it's just one compartment, that's it. So you can actually fit a file folder in there if you want to further separate stuff, okay? Um, the smaller one, I use mine really as an oversized pencil case, but I also can keep things like I have a, uh, a tape measure in there and a whiteout and more of your labels, but I use it as an oversized pencil case that I bring to clients all the time. Um, networking meeting materials, oh, these would probably, I'm trying to think, this might fit an iPad mini, might fit in here if you're packing it to go somewhere, um, or a Kindle. And I've also heard somebody use it as when they're done at the beach and they shower, when they're out and they shower and they're changing their clothes to put a wet bathing suit in it. Because these are all some, you know, plastic and they can be easily wiped down inside and out. So it's not cloth, it's more of a plastic and just can be wiped down and rinsed out. Okay, what's the best thing that can happen when you open your closet door? <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, that there's lights in your closet. That's the best thing. Now, if you don't have lights in your closet, you could, of course, get an electrician and put lights in your closet. Or you can get these touch-on lights. 
Because, you know, we get home at the end of the day and you're tired and you have to make dinner or eat dinner or whatever and the, now the room is dark and you open your closet and it's dark and what happens? Oh, it's just easier to take your clothes and just throw it on the chair and then hang them up later, right? But if the closet is well lit, it's so much easier to keep it organized. So that could be your clothing closet, but also your linen closet. Even if you have like in your kitchen, if you have like a, you know, one of those corner cabinets that's really dark, these are little stick-up lights. You can just put them anywhere. They're battery operated. This is kind of the standard, this is the least expensive model that they have, but there's also smaller models that you can get that shine a lot more light. You know, they're, they're more expensive, but they're smaller for a smaller place to put them. Uh, but they're wonderful because they just light up any dark area, and the more light you have, the easier it is to organize. Is that in with LED? Um, I do not know. Okay, um, academic planner. For those of you who have kids, um, you know that you don't need to use the planner that comes, um, you know, you go to middle school, high school, they give you a planner. You don't need to use that, okay? This is the best planner out there, and it's through um, Order Without Chaos, which I think is on that sheet. And the reason it's so good is because it's not just a simple to-do list like a normal planner is that you get with school. It's really a source for time management. So kids who really have an issue with managing their time will do wonders with this. Okay, so you're showing the actual month, right, where you can just write, you know, day by day what, what you have. And then you have a special section for notes and then everything for after school as well. So in a normal planner, you wouldn't have all this opportunity. It's really just a to-do list and an assignment pad. So this just expands on that idea. And then behind the monthly calendar, there's a breakdown by day. So you can take each day and break it down into little bits and pieces. Okay, it's a great, great tool. All right, my next project is another, <clears throat> another product marriage. <clears throat> Uh, this is the um, acrylic J rack easel. That's on from uh, DisplayWorld.com on your sheet. All right, it's called a J, I think, because of the J. Um, <clears throat> what do I use this for? Um, as I was mentioning before, the things you want to make a point of doing uh, should not be hidden. They should be out where you can see them. Um, my rule is vertical, visible, and minimal. This is the solution for projects. This is my solution for tasks. Um, I used to have a little um, those typewriter stands, and Susan used to make fun of me for it. So this is my <laughs> more sophisticated answer to that. Because uh, it was from the 1940s. Yeah. <laughs> See? Uh, so uh, what I've got here is this is my tomorrow. This is my tomorrow's <clears throat> task, um, and it's standing upright. This, by the way, is the extent of my to-dos, uh, boiled down and summarized. A lot of what we have. Uh, pile up on our desk is not actually to do is things just need to be able to find reliably. And once you can do that, all you need for to do is, is something to, to um, control your ongoing projects and something for your, for your daily uh, tasks. Everybody's got, oh, you find all four of us have completely different systems for this. This is mine, and uh, again, vertical, visible, minimal. This is the tool I use for my tasks. Okay. <laughs> This is a closet shelf divider. So now all of your things that you have in your closet that like folded clothes, like the big chunky sweaters and the and the jeans or the t-shirts, they'll all sit. This part goes right over your shelf, and it's like bookends for your clothes. It's great. So things aren't falling all over the place. It's easy for you to get something out without dropping things and then put stuff back, holding it and putting it back. So these are great. These are uh, containers. <clears throat> this is a shelf liner grippy paper, I call this. And if you take this and you line your desk drawer with this paper, and it's very easy to cut, right, and measure. And then you take your check boxes, <laughs> and you lay that down on the grippy paper. When you open and close the drawer, these boxes do not slide all over the place. It keeps everything in place. You can also use it in the kitchen where you keep your silverware. 
And if you lay this in the kitchen drawer and then you put the silverware rack in there, when you open and close the drawer, the silverware is not going to be sliding all over. I also keep it in the drawer where I keep just all loose utensils that I use for, you know, cooking on the stove top and that kind of thing. Um, and you could use it in the workshop, like any area that you can line and you want things to not slip, that's where you use this. So where? This came from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's called Ultra, no, it's called Grip Ultra Shelf and Drawer Liner. Okay. How many of you look for a planner and you can't find the perfect planner? Or you can't find the perfect notebook for something you're looking for? Um, this is amazing. It's called ARC. I don't know if you've seen it. It's at Staples and it's a customized organizing notebook. So you can make it anything that you want it to be, okay? So for example, if, if you want to put your calendar in here, it's a full month calendar. And then you also have um, sections here that you can break down little projects that you have for the month. And then there's also a day by day um, organizer where you can just write all of your notes for each day. So the great thing about this notebook is that each of these pages just tears out, okay? So you can customize it with pages that you fill in. So these are to-dos, for example. So you can put a to-do list in every month. These are um, project planner notes. So you can put those anywhere you want in the notebook. You can move pages around. Um, these are little folders that you can add to it. So you basically have a customized notebook that suits your needs. Um, I happen to use a smaller one for my day-to-day. -day. So this has a list of all my clients in here, and I can, you know, as I get a new client, I don't go, oh geez, I don't have an extra page in between J and K. You just slip a new page in there. And again, they have all customized pages that go into this notebook. They're great. Okay, my next product, product is the um, plastic uh, top flap um, envelopes. Um, probably familiar with the, um, actually I've got some, But those uh, those um, plastic holders that have like the string, you have to wind them and unwind them. Yeah, I, I actually get to keep those and I cut the top off because who needs it? Um, so these are great too. These are flatter, um, and you don't have to you don't have that thickness of that those buttons that, that line up, and it's nice and slim and fits in any bag. Um, and that's what I've got here. I just cut the tops off. These are from all, all my uh, projects. Larger ones, I will use those. Like I said, those string ones have the top off, uh, and it's great. Um, and again, because they have, there's a certain you know stiffness to it that makes it stand up, so, it, so it's not flopping over, uh, making it high. I mean, it's all about looking, you know, being compelling. You know, it's, it's standing up, saying, "Hey, pay attention to me." You'll want that for your year to do, so you'll, you'll forget about them. Um, so uh, this uh, this is something I carry with me in my um, um, work bag. It's got you know, uh, business card sheets in, in it, and it's super easy to see, and because it's clear on both sides, you can quickly, at a glance, see both sides. This on your sheet is from a GM Envelope. Um, also, real quick, this is my Today folder. This is another product from GM Envelope. It's just a, a portfolio, but it's clear. Um, and uh, this is my Today folder, so I've got, this is Today's events, including workshop at the uh, Darren Library. Here it is. It lives here. Um, that's, that's that's my sort of uh, answer of the, of the day runner. And the most important rule: things that go into the today folder today must come out today. That's what keeps it thin and manageable. You're the king of clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sheet protectors. Sheet protectors are great. Um, they usually live in binders, and binders are an awesome tool for uh, people who are very visual. You hang it on the, the you hang it, you put it on the shelf, and you have a big uh, label on it, so you know exactly what you're looking for and where it is. Um, but a lot of times, you don't necessarily, unless something comes three hole punch, like some of your bank statements or investment statements, you don't necessarily want to spend the time to three hole punch stuff before you put it in. So a sheet protector is great, a great answer for that. Um, when you get something like this. 
maybe a brochure. You don't necessarily want to three-hole punch this. It would be more like a two-and-a-half hole punch. And where do you punch it? Do you want it up in the middle, top, bottom? So this is the kind of stuff. If you have things that are all different sizes, I have a gift binder with gift ideas. That's where this kind of stuff came from. So I can rip something out of a magazine and just tuck it in here. Again, don't have to worry about three-hole punching stuff. If you like to cook and you're constantly finding magazines with recipes in them, take the recipe out, put it in three hole, uh, put it in a sheet protector, and you can pull it out of the binder when you're ready to cook with it. And it's plastic. You can just wipe it off when you're splattering stuff on it. it. Makes it very easy. They do also have them with little tubs on them, so you can make little sections in your binder. I think this is the last one. That's one. Right? This is the last one. All right. This All right. is another new product. And you buy Smead. And they call this the Stadium File Organizer. And what this is, it's self contained. So it's accordion, so you have to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And it has graduated tabs, right? It has a whole bunch of tabs here. And it comes with some tabs that are already pre-printed for you. So there's options of how you could set this up. You could set it up A, B, C, D. You could do it that way if you want to make it a filing system. You can use January through December. You can do 1 through 31. Or you can put, um, it has your auto, banking, credit cards, dental, education, income. So this could be a filing system for you. Right? So it could be your paid bills are in here, or your financial statements are in here, or bank statements. You can make this where you keep your paperwork for any of your projects that you're working on, or tasks, right? Because it stands up by itself. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Not heavy, it doesn't make paperwork. <laughs> Okay, you can all tell I do a lot of organizing with kids, so I'm like the kid person. So this is my last product, um, and it's a file pouch, and it's for kids who have trouble keeping all their subjects organized. Um, so for those of you who have kids, you know that each subject has a folder, and it has a spiral notebook, and it also has a textbook. So when you take five subjects that a child has, and you have three things for each subject, you have a problem, okay? So with this, you just put the whole, everything for that subject and you put a big label here that says math or English and everything for that subject is in here. So if you have kids who have, you know, ADD or even, you know, attention learning issues, these are fabulous for that. These are also from um, Order Out of Chaos. How many people are familiar with the dashboard sticky pad? Dashboard. Yes. It's a sticky pad. Uh, it's called a sticky pad because uh, it goes on by peeling the back off and sticking it on your dashboard. That's it. Uh, <clears throat> you peel off the top and you put your cell phone there. It is a super simple solution. I love the simple solutions. Um, when I first got this, I said, gosh, it should be this easy. It is this easy. And uh, you put your phone there. It doesn't matter how tight or fast you take that corner of your car, the phone does not. <laughs> follow-up items, it's kind of like a calendar. It's got tabs from 1 through 31. So it's something you have to do, if you have to RSVP to invite by the 18th of May, then you can put that invitation in on the 18th. You just have to make sure you go through this. <laughs> you also, in fact, have January through December. So if you have something going on in July, well this, 1 through 31, is all for May. So you can take whatever it is, and put it in the July area. Then when July comes, you say, okay, what's my July, now what date do I need to put it on there? Okay? This is for individual bills, invitations, et cetera. If you're like me, I have a system at home 
that is the very same thing, but I have a hanging file for each day in each month because I put things in there like my entire bills to pay, pay file. So that, today is the 7th, I have my bills to pay file in there, I have some bills that I have to go through. So that's, that. you can also, you know, you can set it up this way, you can have this, and you can also use Susan's thing over there. If there's 31 pockets, and they're saying, you want 31, you can do that and use it as a daily tip file. Where do you get this, uh, this can be found at Staples or Office Max. So that's what we've got. Uh, who's got a product out there that they love that we didn't mention? Anybody? Yes. Um, I don't want to describe it. It's um, for ties, basically, or belts, and it's like, uh, goes like this, and it comes out and has like wheels, and you can hang things on them. Okay. You know? So like a clothesline, you, you no, stretch no, it out? No, it's like maybe this big, mm -hmm. and it goes against the wall, you hang it on the wall, uh -huh. and then it has two round things with, with hooks on them. Okay. For like belts or ties for men, but I put necklaces on them. Oh. And I keep it on my wall, so it's, I could just turn it, and it's very convenient for Terrific. Yes. There's a hand to go up over there. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. I have a scanner that's like a scan snap. It does everything I, that does, but mm -hmm. it's less expensive. Yeah, it is, is it a snap scan? It's snap, scan, yeah. snap. Mm -hmm. You can find it on the Evernote website and mm -hmm. link to it. And then when you fold it up, it you can travel with it. It's like a, it's the size of like an oversized pencil case. Yeah, they, they're but then when you open it up, so. it's got the multiple sheet feeder mm -hmm. and the little. I mean, it's amazing. It mm -hmm. does double sided receipts. That's great. Good what to know. Website? Website? Well, ScanSnap is the product. Probably ScanSnap.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What website did you they say? Have, well, I got it through the Evernote website link, and they <laughs> their software goes, it's like it works compatible. It's with Evernote. Terrific. Yeah. Yes. I love, and people probably already know about this, but I feel like I was a little late to the game, with the real simple hangers. And oh, the, they, the felt. Yeah, you yeah. get them mm -hmm. back beyond, and they're, you, would, you wouldn't think it would take so long for people to invent a hanger that ha does everything. Because, you know, you always want a hanger that has little divots for if you have something strappy, but also it's felt so that if it's not strappy, but it's maybe silk, it won't mm -hmm. slide off the hanger. It just kind of sticks on. And it also has a hook in case you want to hang up an outfit with like the belt mm -hmm. you have planned for the next day. Yeah. And they're really thin, right. so they don't take up a lot of space in your closet.